right everyone welcome back to another video today we're going to be doing it on the niche house of hudson's so if you haven't heard of hudson's they're actually a barbershop based out of hertfordshire um, i do believe they made their own fragrances that they would i guess spray on on the punters after a haircut after a while people were like oh that smells good i want to buy that so they sold them and then months went on where people outside of the barbershop were like actually i want to buy a bottle of that so they kind of organically grew and are now chucking out fragrances left right and center which is brilliant i love supporting small uk businesses never know what's happened in brexit let's be real but we won't get into that today no politics on this channel so what we're going to do is we're going to go through their three fragrances as literally every other reviewer has done i think it's commonplace to kind of poke fun at the names a little bit just because you know they got Hudson 001, 002, and 003. I don't know how they do it. Marketing genius, I know. But it doesn't really matter what they're called. All that matters is do they smell good? So you can get all three fragrances in sample form, which is what I got here, for about £6.50. Although, in February, there is a code Valentine's 20, 20% 20 off. Don't say I don't hook you up, all right? So, I mean, I got this for, instead of £6.50, got it for about £6.13 pence with postage. <laughs> so, big savings. But no, I imagine if you're getting the big bottles, you probably will notice the actual savings. So, I ordered this about a week ago. Really excited to try them. Everyone in the UK scenes absolutely singing their praises. So, I was quite excited to try these ones. So, we're going to start off, of course, as you would have to, with 002, just to be awkward. No, I'm only joking. We're going to start off with Hudson's 001. So you've got iris, violet, oud, sandalwood, oriental notes, patchouli, labdanum, and oak moss. Now, straight off the bat, 001, you get that blast of iris. And because it's supported by a warm, woody base, it is just so sexy. I really, really don't say that fragrances are sexy. I don't know how fragrance can be sexy. But if it could, iris would be one of the main notes i love valentino womo i love the dior Homme line i think because iris it's a little bit feminine this is definitely unisex it's got that lipsticky iris i feel like to be sexy you've got to have a bit of a feminine side and i think that goes for throughout everything just in life quite metrosexual shall we say absolutely gorgeous i think it's so warm it does remind me of the orom it does remind me of valentino womo which is one of my favorites of all time it not a copy it's definitely not a copy it's an alternative you could definitely save some cash by this and i think it would scratch that itch but it's definitely not a copy this is different so there is this note of oud that's in quite a few of their fragrances and to be fair i don't really pick it up in most of them it definitely must be playing some sort of supportive note however in the dry down of this i do get a little bit it kind of reminds me of like that 24 gold 24 platinum kind of vibe so it's very soft very sweet and with the patchouli in it it definitely gives it this chocolatey vibe that sandalwood with the oud gives it a really nice structure of this woody base i think it's fantastic I think it's very soft. It's not one that's pungent straight at you. It's a very soft smelling fragrance. Now the performance on this, I do think they're all X straight to parfums. The performance on this was immense. I did like a whole day of work and it was projecting all day. I was smelling it all day. Definitely didn't go anosmic to it any way, shape or form. Did the full eight hour shift still going strong come back home another two three hours and i'm still smelling it on me so for the price it's ridiculous and this is definitely one that i'm gonna have to pick up and i'm really happy that i sampled this because i would never have thought it would have been this good like the price is it's ridiculous now i've seen some videos where people have said this is 80 quid for 100 mil now it probably was at one point and i don't know what they've done but it's now like 40 quid, and this is before the 20% comes off. Absolutely mental. This, for 40 quid for 100 mil, is amazing. Valentino Womo, Dior Homme Intense, Dior Homme, 
they're all sort of 40 to 80 pound mark this just sits in the 40 and that is for the biggest bottle which is incredible value but that's enough of me getting wet about 001 let's have a look at 002 so you've got grapefruit mandarin saffron rose oud cypriols and balsams and this one definitely starts off with that sharp citrus to be honest i'm not getting much rose saffron or oud in this very fresh this is like an ultra zesty kind of mandarin and orange and grapefruit it's a really zesty pulpy kind of grapefruit and mandarin accord i think the grapefruit definitely sticks out the most it is quite a punchy quite a hard hitting citrus but it's got this warm base around it which i think is just if anything supporting it it's got a little bit of a sherbetty vibe and i don't know where that's coming from i don't know if like the rose and the saffrons bring like a little bit of powder into it which would give off this kind of sherbetty vibe but there definitely is something there it has got slight florals i'm definitely not saying that you can't smell any florals there is definitely some florals coming in i think this one's a little bit more unisex than 001 but i still think it leans masculine and also just want to point out it doesn't smell like an oud rose fragrance or the typical kind of oudy rosy fragrance it's nothing like it at all i do believe once again the oud will must be playing some sort of supporting note and to be fair probably the rose as well with the saffron people obviously know that from like the baccarat rouge 540 doesn't have that vibe at all there is nothing rose oudy about this nothing baccarat rouge 540 about this it's its own beast it's a lot more summer orientated than 001 001 you wear in december 002 i say you wear kind of march to september another absolutely great fragrance so this one's definitely more simple than 001 there's definitely less going on you can tell by the list of notes was considerably less it's quite simple straightforward citrusy a little bit of florals and there's definitely like a warm base there as well because this projects and last forever it smells like it shouldn't last that long but it does and to be fair it's an absolutely fantastic release once again so that's two for two i'm liking this house last but certainly not least we have zero zero three this has got notes of bergamot and grapefruit violet leaf soft spices jasmine amber soft leather and dark mask so this kicks off with a punch of citrus and that violet leaf is really coming through i know zero zero one meant to have violet in it i don't know if violet leaf and violet are too different but this one definitely has that quintessential kind of fahrenheit-y violet leaf and this is what it smells like it definitely smells like fahrenheit and to be fair with those citruses it's a lot softer it's a lot lighter to me this smells like like the best summer flanker for fahrenheit you could ever ask for you do get a little bit of that musk and that leather with the spices but it is mainly to begin with just this punchy citrusy violet leaf fragrance has that slight petrol vibe definitely no way near as much as say fahrenheit does but it's definitely in that ballpark and to be fair just like 001 it is only ballpark it's not just like Diorom, it's not just like fahrenheit they do smell similar if you like fahrenheit you will love this if you think fahrenheit's too harsh and you want like a summer version and i don't know if they even do a summer version for fahrenheit anymore this is a really really good call tell you what my brother-in-law he loves fahrenheit but apart from fahrenheit all he kind of wears is like these bright citrusy aquatic fragrances quite like summery ones this is going to be spot on for him i don't think he watches the videos good because he's going to get it for his birthday and i think he will absolutely love it it's class but no that's my video on the house of hudson's grab that code i'll put it in there it's valentine's 20 but if you just want to copy and paste it i will pop it in the description below anyways guys cheers for watching the video i've been lee from the cologne zone and the pleasure is always mine